These days, there's an online course or program for just about every topic under the sun, which is great because it makes information readily accessible at all times, but it can also be really overwhelming because after a while, it starts to get a little bit blurry and you don't know if you really need that online course or if it just looks really fun and lovely. And that's what I want to help you with today. I'm Nikki Elledge Brown, the communication stylist and creator of A Course Without Copy. And in this video, I want to give you three questions to ask yourself before you invest in another online course or program, mine included. The first question is, is it really legit, like it's a need for your business based on your priorities right now, or is it just a shiny object? It could be shiny and pretty and something that you need, so it could be both, but you need to be really clear on your priorities for your business right now, what you actually need to focus on. As Todd Herman says in the 90-day year, if you're thinking about in this 90-day cycle of things, you have these top drivers moving forward and you need to filter everything that you're investing in, time and money-wise, through those top drivers for whatever you're doing in the next 90 days. Example of me not doing this, <laughs> I w I'd love to start a podcast one day, but I don't, I can't even see where the podcast would be. Like in my business future, I can't even see. But shiny object, because I saw a really great deal on a particular podcasting course, I bought it. I even bought a podcast player because there was a really good deal on the podcast player. And again, I don't even have an idea of a start date of when my podcast would launch. Um, which kind of relates to number two, question number two, and I'll get to that in a second. But in short, you really just need to be honest with yourself. Is this something that is going to help you get closer to your goals for the immediate future? Is it something you can use now? For example, a course about copy, since you hopefully do have a website up, or at least at the very least you're out there communicating your message and communicating your value to the people who need it, I would consider that a pretty critical immediate need because you're not gonna get too far if you can't clearly communicate your value to the people who need it. So there's a, um, an answer, a bonus answer for you if you're considering a course about copy. Yes, I'm biased, but it needs to be something that you can actually use now or in the very near future. So that's question number one, legit versus shiny object. And again, sometimes those legit needs also happen to be in shiny packages, which is fine too. Okay, question number two is, does it make financial sense for you right now? So I never would have invested in those other podcasty courses and resources if I didn't have the funds to do that because you don't want to put yourself in a financial pickle by any means. Um, but you want to make sure you can tie the return on investment to this course. So basically, ask yourself, is this course or program going to help me make money? Am I going to get a return on my investment? So think about it. If it's a $500 course, how many customers do you need to get in order to make that back? Or how many clients or projects or whatever it is, however you earn money, is it going to help you earn more money? Is it going to help you earn more money repeatedly over and over and over? How long will it take for you to earn your money back? Make a plan. This is real. This is numbers. So really be honest with yourself. If I invest in this course and I put it to use, how long will it take me to get to this point wherever I can feel good about the return on investment? And if it's a really long time um, and you start to feel like this desperate scarcity pants, you know, I, I don't have the money, it's going to stress me out to make this investment, then that's not a good energy to have going into an investment. You know, you want to feel expansive, you want to feel excited, you want to feel like this is exactly what you need to get the bottom line revenue and results that you've been looking for. So if that's a yes, check, check. So the first thing is squirrel, um, shiny object versus legitimate need, something that you really do need to focus on right now in order to get the results that you want. Number two is, does it make financial sense? And I'm not talking about just like, think about it in theory. I'm talking about, no, really. Like, actually look at the numbers and see how many new clients or customers or widgets you need to sell in order to make a return on your investment and make a plan to actually do that. Commit to doing that, to getting your own return on your investment. That's what I ask all my course about copy people to do. Make sure that you're committed to getting results. Especially if you've seen other people have gotten real results from this program, you know it's possible, but it's about that commitment and that decision to getting your return on your investment. And then number three is, do you like the teaching style and have you learned from this particular course or program creator before? Because we're all out here putting out whatever we can in terms of free, freemium 
quality content. So for me, you have a course about copy. There's free videos. You have the conversational copy cheat sheet. You have all these blog videos, um, webinars like I'm hosting next week if you're watching this when I actually post it for the first time. You have so many opportunities to check this person out before you buy, just like when you're walking up and down the aisle at Sam's or Costco and you have a little free sample of that burrito or whatever it is. That's your chance, so sample it. If you like it, you like learning from this person, you like the energy of that person, it's really important because even if number one and two are yeses, if you don't really connect with this person, then you're not gonna enjoy their course or program. That's just how it is. So make sure that you check all three of those boxes. So to review, number one, decide honestly, is it a shiny object, something that you don't really need right now and you can save it for later, or is it something that you do want and need right now and it fits and aligns with your priorities and goals for the most immediate next quarter or two future? Number two, can you afford it? What's your plan for making the return on your investment? So make a real plan so that you feel confident going into it and not like, ah, there went my rent for the month. You know, like that's not a good feeling to go into it. So make sure that you have a plan for making your money back before you click that buy button. And then number three, do you enjoy the energy of the person and the teaching style? Has their free stuff already benefited you? Because that's a huge indicator that yes, you will enjoy the actual paid course or program. The bottom line to all of it is to trust your gut. You know, I mean, we can have checklists and we can have questions and all of those things, but you have a good energetic feel as to whether or not this is the right thing for you. And hopefully if you're having a hard time sorting through all of that, these three questions will help you get a bit clearer on that decision making process. So. Your homework for today in the comments below is to think about it. If you are weighing decisions on a course or a program, think about these three things. In the comments, you can share what some of your favorite no-brainer courses were. Um, I would also love it if, again, you happen to be watching this before I do the workshop to sign up and RSVP so that you can sample some of my goods for a course about copy and decide if it's right for you before I close the doors for a little while. Um, but either way, just think about it. It's not necessarily a comment-based homework assignment, but just think about it. The next time that you're considering an investment in your business, think about these three things. Make a plan. You are in control. You're the boss. And these are all resources that can really help you grow when you invest in them wisely. So hope that helps. If you have any other questions on this kind of stuff, let me know because I would love to help you more with your course taking and course creating journey in the months to come. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. If you've got what you know is a great idea for a service, product, or program, but you're really just not making any money from it, I've got some ideas for you. In this video, I want to share what I know to be the simplest way to make money with your business. Okay, and I'm going to break it into three steps. I know I have a thing for three steps.